the tip of your nose or close your eyes, whichever one feels better in your body. If you're, if you're closing your eyes to send you your, your monkey mind racing, then just stare at something, you know, make a soft gaze, a soft focus. Um, talking about contentment and um, the word santosha is accepting what is. And I thought, um, I'm just going to kind of share with you some, some thoughts um, that come from this book called True Yoga. Um, the simplest way to begin is to stop complaining about the things that annoy you and generally accept things that fall short of our desires. So, you know, clearly we're desiring things we can't have right now, um, including that human connection. So. Um, you know, the simplest way to stop suffering is to stop complaining and just accept when things fall short of our desires. We all know that life is not going to always go our way. If we can find humor, sometimes that makes life a little less exhausting. So for example, if you're you're out and about and driving and someone cuts you off or someone, you know, um, makes you mad with their, their driving habits. Um, instead of noticing that, maybe notice um, any beauty around you, whether it's wildflowers on the side of the road or um, people out walking their dogs or people doing things, um, you know, that, that are bring joy in. So it's a matter of instead of taking the, the things that annoy us and the things that are bothering us, instead of focusing on those, but redirecting our thoughts to something else. And this is conscious decisions we're all making. So we can make conscious choices um, throughout our day. And that is something that yoga teaches us. Yoga teaches us that as we move through our poses, yoga poses, that we can make conscious decisions. We can decide to do the pose. We can decide not to do the pose. We can decide to breathe through it and kind of engage in what's happening if it works for us today. Um, so our bodies gives us that opportunity as well. And <laughs> there's um, contentment within the body. Um, we're all given physical attributes and some of those attributes we may not like. <laughs> Um, we like to be perfectly fit, beautiful, well-balanced, all those things, but that might not be what we have received. So we must take the time to honor what we have, to be open and respect the body for what it is. And by doing this, we strengthen, um, our body and accept it for what it is. And that actually opens us up more to receiving um, contentment, santosha, contentment, because this, this is what we have. We are not changing our bone structure. We may be able to stretch out, but there's just certain things we can't do because our, our body doesn't allow it. And that's where I wanna to go today. And let's experience the joy of having this physical body and having each other to practice with. So let's start by just bringing awareness to your breath. And on your inhale, well, you can open your eyes now if you have them closed. On your inhale, let's stretch the arms up. And on the exhale, turn your palms down and press the air down. And we'll inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms come down, nice and slow. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, look down as your arms come down. So this is a neck stretch. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. And just float, doing a couple of these, connecting your breath with the movement. There is no real right or wrong. It's just if it doesn't feel good, we restrain from it. If it doesn't bring you joy and happiness, Pick something else that fills your cup up this morning. Very good. Let's do two more. Reach up. Exhale, bring it down. 
One more, inhale up. Exhale, arms come down. Take your right hand to your left side of your collarbone here and press your palm into your chest. Tilt your head to the right and just find the stretch in your neck. Maybe you wanna move the chin a little bit forward, a little bit back until you feel the stretch you desire. Now come back through center. Switch your grip on your hands and place your left hand on your right collarbone and lean to the right. Excuse me, I don't have COVID. I just have to eat on. The heat's blowing and it's making my nose dusty in here. All right, release your left hand and let's roll out the shoulders. Bring them up towards your ears. Push them back, down, and forward. Shoulders roll up, purposely go back, down, and forward. And enjoy this movement. Very nice. Now, as we sit here, relax the shoulders and press your weight into your right foot. Just push down into the right foot. As you push into the right foot, see if you can lift your left knee up. We're just pushing into the right, lifting the left knee. Sit as tall as you can be, balancing on the right foot. Shoulders down, heads up. And then lower the left knee. Let's try the other side. Press your left foot into the ground, lift your right knee up. So one-legged mountain. And then pull it up just a little higher, and then exhale it down. Sweep both arms up, stretch to the sky. Now press both feet into the ground and soften your shoulders. Take your left hand forward, right hand back for a twist. And reach both arms back up. And then we'll twist to the other direction. Left hand back, right hand forward. And then reach both arms up. Exhale all the way down towards your chair. Hold on to the back of the chair, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and your head, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Big heart opening pose. Push your belly forward and breathe. Also, you can hold on to the seat of the chair and you can push your heels of your hands down. That also works. Or you can hold the edges of your chair. Good. And now we're going to release that pose. Reach the arms back up straight spine. Hands come to your heart center. Take your hands to your knees and round like cat pose. Maybe lift your heels up off the ground. See what happens if your heels lift up and you tuck your toes just a little deeper into the ground beneath you. I can't get the lighting right today. It's either too bright or not bright enough. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. And then inhale, slide your hands to your hip creases and move through cow, cat, uh, cow pose. Belly's forward, chest is forward, chin's lifted. Exhale into cat. To cow. And now we'll move through these cats and cows in an organic fashion. And by that I mean whatever feels natural to you. Move the body forward and back, creating lots of different movements in the spine. We're breathing, connecting that breath. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, hands to your knees, round. Lower your hands down your shin and curl. Curl your shoulders forward, so rounding the top half of your back. Let your head 
lengthen out. Feel your body just releasing tension in the shoulders. And now if you like to rock a little side to side, you can sway here. Very good, and nice and slow, rise back up, up your shins, your knees, your hip creases. Re-extend the arms out wide and reach up. Ah, oh, big stretch to the sky. Exhale the arms down. So just like we did a minute ago, we're gonna lift the left knee up. Let's sit back so you can see. Lift your left knee high. Lift your right arm up. Feel the knee lifting and press the bottom of your left foot into an imaginary block beneath you. You can hold on to the chair with your left hand or you can just let it dangle. Now we're gonna do a cross body crunch. Take your right elbow and bring it towards your left knee and then re-extend it, lower your left knee and do that a couple times. Cross, cross, And if it doesn't tap, that's okay. Just get it in that general direction. Three, and two, and one. And release both arm and leg. Sit back tall. Put weight into your left leg. Lift your right knee up. Flex your right foot. Extend your left arm. So the left arm's gonna go across the body and tap the right knee and crunch. Keep breathing. These are challenging poses. Working our abdomen. Three, four, and five, and release, let go. Good job. Now toe heel your feet out a little bit wider than hip distance. And we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it on the same side. So right knee is gonna come up and tap the right elbow. So we're moving that hip, right knee to right elbow. And then you can add in by reaching it out, kicking the leg out and the arm out, if you wanna add on, making it bigger. Breathe in, gotta burn some of those calories this morning. <laughs> and two, and one, and relax the right side. Sit back tall, and let's move to the other side. Left knee, left elbow, punch it in and tap. Remember, we can stay here, just tapping, or we can make it bigger. Straightening them out. Two more. Ah, lower down. Now let's take a gentle spin around our chair with our torso. This is just to give us a moment of reprieve for our, our legs and our hips. Ah, breathe and move. And then circle in the other direction. Starting to feel a little warmer in here. <laughs> and then one more circle around. Pause. Push your feet into the ground. Find your sit bones and then establish your arms out to a T-shape. So reach out in both directions with your arms. Now straighten your right knee. Now you're in a warrior two shape. So left knee is gonna remain bent. 
take your left palm up and reverse it. Right hand goes to your right leg. And then back out to warrior two. Move to your extended side angle. And now warrior two. Slide back the right leg. Right knee bends, left leg goes out. Now your warrior two to the right. Turn your right palm up, reverse it. Warrior two arms to your extended side ankle. Back to warrior two, slide your left knee back in, left foot in, and then straighten out your right. Soften your shoulders, because I have my way up here, I just saw that. Turn your left palm up or reverse it. Extend it side angle. Warrior two. Right knee bends, bring it back in, straighten out the left. Right arm reverses over your head, peaceful warrior. Extend it side angle. Bend your left knee, arms out to a T. Good, nice job everybody. Now, take your right arm on the bottom and left arm on top and give your shoulders a squeeze. Put your elbows out away from you, lift up your head so your neck extends up higher. And then round and point your elbows towards the floor. Press your feet into the ground. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back. And in your shoulders. Very good. Breathe in and out. Inhale, rise up, point the elbows out. And then see if you can point them up. And then exhale, round and point the elbows back towards the floor. Press your feet down. Hold those knees steady. Inhale, lift up. We're gonna do three more of these. Point the elbows up. Exhale, point the elbows down. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up, lean back, release the arms, big wide V in the sky. Exhale the arms back out to a T. Soften the shoulders. Straighten out your right leg. Warrior two, left knee bends, peaceful warrior to your extended side angle. To warrior two, straighten your left leg, bend your, keep your right, bring your right knee back into bend. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Warrior two, left knee comes in, bend your left knee. Straighten out your right. Peaceful warrior, left arm over your head. Extend a side angle. Warrior two. Bend your right knee back into a goddess squat. Take your left arm on the bottom, right arm on top, hold your shoulders. Point your elbows out and away from you. Lift your head up. Lean back, arch in the back, and then exhale, rounding. Tuck your chin towards your chest, pull your elbows down. We'll do this five times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, lift up and lean back. Release the arms to the sky, reach up. Exhale the hands to the knees, soften your shoulders. Drop your left shoulder towards your right knee and look in the right direction. Lift back up to neutral and drop the left, the opposite right shoulder to your left knee. Back through center, and now take your time moving from one side to the other side. And you can really kind of move those shoulders in a way that you haven't normally moved them, you know, dropping them and swaying. 
This feels really good on my low back. I hope it feels good on your low back. And because we're using our legs to keep us stable, we're also getting a, working those muscles, building some strength in our leg. Very good. Now, nice and slow, bring yourself back through center. Now, press your feet into the ground, sweep your arms out in front of you like you're trying to reach out and grab a, a present or something in front of you. Squeeze your belly in, press your feet down and reach up, use your core. I'm gonna do this a couple times. Inhale, exhale, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, we're going to go all the way down. Now start to move your, your center of gravity forward. Make sure your legs are nice and stable. If this makes you feel dizzy, keep your head up. If you're okay with it, reach for the floor. So see what's possible there. If you can reach down, and if you swaying makes you feel better, do that. So just try a little bit of a sway, a little bit of movement. Nice and slow, take your hands to your shins. Tuck your chin in and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. We're gonna lift the right knee up, bring it towards your right shoulder. Flex your right foot and then kick it out in front of you. Do a couple kicks just like that, kicking it out, moving the knee. Ooh, that's crunchy today. <laughs> I think it's always crunchy in here. All right, one more time, get a big kick out, and then see if you can hold that foot in the air. I'm leaning back onto my left hip for sure to keep that leg straight, but I'm having to work with my whole right leg here to hold it up. And then let's bend it and lower it down. Plant the right foot on the ground, and let's bring up your left knee, bring it towards your left shoulder. Flex your left foot. Let's do a couple kicks out in that direction too. Good, and now try to hold it in the air. So flexing the foot, toes pointing towards you, shoulders down, heads up, push out through your left heel. So engaging your muscles in your left. Bend the knee and lower it down. Toe heel your feet together, making a set of two legs, one legs. <laughs> Squeeze in. Now sit to the back of your sit bones and lift up your feet. Maybe if that doesn't feel comfortable to you, just keep your big toes on the ground. Roll your shoulders back. Feel your belly engaged. Option is to add in the arms, reaching them forward. Other options is to lift the knee up, the knees higher. Keep squeezing the knees together. So we're engaging. Our, our inner thighs. Whew. We'll hold this for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Lower the legs, reach up. Exhale, let's swan dive over our legs and hold. Take a breath here. <sighs> nice and easy, rise up halfway, roll the shoulders back, extend the neck forward. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up, lift your right knee with you. Pick out your right foot, round and reach for your right leg. Inhale, arms come up, exhale, arms and legs come down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up with your left knee, press into your right foot. Extend out your left leg, reach and round the back. Inhale, arms come up, bend the knee and fold. So move in this light pattern. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up, right knee. 
Exhale, push it out. Round and reach. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise up, left knee. Kick it out. Reach forward. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Let it go. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise up. Both feet stay on the ground this time. Reach up, tall mountain pose. Hands to heart center. Lift your head up. Find your breath. Find your heartbeat. See if you can feel the pulsing in your fingertips. Very good. Then we're going to come around and stand behind our chairs for our standing postures. So make your way um, behind your chair and see if you can find um, your feet. So where they're at in space. I like to just stand as tall as you can be, feet underneath hips, shoulders back, long straight spine. And just be tall. See how your legs are functioning right here in this moment. Can you feel your belly kind of pulling in? It's your Uddiyata Bandha, your pelvic floor lifting up slightly. And now let's step back with the left foot. So left foot's gonna go back, bent into your right knee. And we're just gonna find a little bit of pulsing here, bending into the knee. There used to be a yoga teacher that always would tell you, never let your knee go over your ankle. I remember hearing this from years of training. And then I started to question, you should always question everything I say too, by the way. I'm not an expert by, by no means, but I try, I learn. So if your knee goes over your ankle, that's okay because you do that every day when you walk up and down stairs. It's when you try to force things into the positions that they, they don't normally go in. So we don't want to hyper, hyper flex anything. But this is a pretty normal movement. Just bending the knee, it comes over the ankle. And you should feel a slight tug in the back left heel where your Achilles is. All right, good. Now let's bend one more time and try to stabilize the right knee over the right ankle. So they're stacked. Now. Lean forward and see if you can lift off that back left leg. So we're balancing on one foot, that right foot. Option here is to take your hands off the chair and come into that warrior three shape, where your arms can be out, they can be forward, they can be holding onto the chair, they can be in the seat. So you take the option that feels good to you. Slight bend in the right knee. We never want to lock out that joint. Ooh, are you feeling it yet? So contentment with the pose, wherever you're at, just be content. Now bend into the knee, and we're going to take the left knee behind the right. And then send your left foot out to the right side, so it's crossing behind your right foot. And then take a little curtsy bow. And now step your feet together. All right. Let's try that on the other side. So back to just standing Tadasana. Shoulders back, heads up. Breathe in and out. Now we're gonna step back with the right foot. Left knee, left foot is forward. And you may wanna bring it a little bit more forward, get yourself so you're lined up and then take just a little bit of those knee bends. Left knee coming over your ankle, pushing back through your right Achilles. Breathe and move. Very good. So we know our options when we come, when we pause here, we're gonna line up our left knee with our left ankle, shoulders back, and then lean forward so that the right leg floats like a feather off the ground. And again, take your options for holding the chair. Where does it feel safe for you? Where does it feel comfortable? And see if you can drop that right hip. That right leg wants to go way up. See if you can just bring it down so the right hip and left hip are, are both square to the floor. 
See if you can point your right toes down. And again, this could be a balance pose. You could not hold them to the chair at all if you want to practice it that way. Ooh, feeling that in the left leg. Now gently touch back down and step your feet together. Shake out your hips. And now we're gonna step back right foot and then left foot and come into your full downward facing dog pose. Stretch out your arms and your legs and make your body into this beautiful L or V like shape. And then play around with what feels good today. We're widening out our feet so they're a little bit wider than our hip distance, or maybe it feels better with your feet just below your hips. Just take a notice of that and then bend your knees slightly. Bring your rib cage closer to your thigh so your belly comes towards your legs. Your shoulder blades are engaged and you're feeling them pull down into the lower ribs. Now you're drisky, your gaze can be straight under the chair straight down beneath you to your feet or to your knees or even towards your belly button. All those are options. <sighs> now we're going to rise up. As we rise up, step that right foot forward. Spin your left foot to this. So the left heel stays down, but the toes spin to the left side of the room. We're coming into warrior one. So slightly different than what we were doing a second ago because our legs are a little bit longer and wider. Then inhale, reach the arms up for the balance. So knee is over ankle. Now cactus your arms and lean back, see if you can broaden and open your chest area. Inhale, re-extend the arms back up. Exhale, the hands back to the top of the chair and step back to your downward facing dog. Readjust, recalibrate, and feel. <sighs> All right, next up is the left leg. Step your left foot forward, bend into your left knee, spin your right toes to the right side of the room, and lean back your shoulders and see if you can find a balance here. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always hold the chair. If you got it, lift your arms up. Warrior one. Cactus arms and lean back, broadening the chest. Push your heart forward. <sighs> Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, hands come back to the chair. And we step back to our downward facing dog. So now we're going to move through a little flow. Just like that, it's going to be warrior one, back to down dog. But we're going to try to move a little faster. Only move at the rate of your breath. So if my, my cues are not matching your breath, then slow down or speed up. You are welcome to do you. So we'll inhale, rise up, right foot forward, bend into the right knee, inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. <sighs> Re-extend up. Exhale, hands come down, step back, downward dog. Rise up, chest, step your left foot forward, bend into your left knee, reestablish your feet, arms reach up. Exhale to cactus arms. Inhale, re-extend up. Exhale, hands come down, step back and flow. Inhale, rise up, right foot steps forward. And reach up, cactus arms. Inhale up, exhale, hands down, step back, downward dog. Left leg, step it forward. Arms reach up, exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach up, hands come down, step back, downward dog. One more on each side, inhale, rise up, right foot forward, bend into the right knee. Reach up, cactus arms. Reach up, hands come down, step back, downward dog. Inhale, flow up, left foot forward. Rise up and reach, cactus arms, beautiful, reach up again, exhale, hands come down, downward facing dog, and take about five deep cleansing breaths here. So I want you to breathe in and out, nice and slow, try to breathe in and out of your nose, and just find 
this sense of contentment, this sense of ease in your body. So knees soft, elbows soft, heads relaxed. Breathe. Right. Gently begin to lift up your chest. We're going to step our right foot forward, coming into a crescent lunge. I want you to take your left foot back so you can lift your left heel. So your toe mound and your toes are on the ground. So a bigger lunge here. Your left hip bone is still pointing forward. So both bones or hip bones are pointing, pelvis is pointing forward. And then we'll bend into the back knee and just lower a little bit to the ground and then straighten it up. And we bend and we straighten. This is too much on your knees. We straight, don't go so far. Pull it in some. All right, two more. One more. Uh, and now we're gonna hold here. Put weight into that right foot and down here. We, we've already been here. You know where we're going. We're going to lift up that left leg. You're welcome to bend the knee if you like or keep the leg straight. You're welcome to bring your hand down. The third option is to keep your left hand on the chair and reach out with your right arm so we're balancing. So we call this a, a version of maybe bird dog pose half moon maybe, a revolve half moon. Lots of different names for these poses. Ah. Now gently, we're gonna touch down with the left toe, so be careful when you come back. Now you're back at a crescent warrior. And now step back downward facing dog. Again, reestablish your breath in a normal rhythm. Breathe in and out nice and slow. Now look forward and step your left foot forward. So right legs go back, squiggle back your right foot, right heel stays up. And then we're gonna bend into it and lower the back knee. This is our crescent lunge. Just a little balance here if you don't want to hold the chair. Good. Now, bend into that left knee, hands to the chair somewhere. Float that left, uh, right foot off the ground. And imagine again, you're lengthening the spine, making the spine flat, rotating your right hip down some. Keep your right hand on the chair and you can try reaching out through the left arm or you can try balancing with no hands. You can try bending the knee, but explore the shape. It's balance in the one leg. Nice and slow, we'll touch back down with the right toes. Crescent warrior to downward facing dog. All right. Now lift your toes up. See if you can peel your feet, balance on your heels. Look down towards your toes and see if you can feel the backs of your hand, your backs of your legs, your hamstrings. And now lower your toes and come up onto your tippy toes, bend your knees and squat. Straighten the legs. Do a couple of these balancing on our toes, squat down and lift up. Bend and squat. Go as low as you need to. If it's hurting your knees, restrain from this. We don't want bone on bone by any means. Two more. 
One more. Ah, lower the heels, push back, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Now, keep your left hand on the chair and take your right hand to your left knee and look underneath your arm and say like peekaboo under that side. You can bend the left knee a lot. Look in that direction. Control your breathing. And now bring your right hand back to the chair. You may want to lift up for just a second and look forward just to reestablish some equanimity in your, in your balance. And then we'll bend the right knee and take the left hand across your body to the left leg and look under your right arm. Now return your left hand back to the chair. Look up and walk yourself back to the chair. Find your way back into a standing Tadasana pose. So that's just where our feet are underneath our hips, shoulders are over our feet. Head rises. Now step out with your right foot. Reach your right arm over your head and take a side body stretch. Doesn't matter if you're standing in front or to the side of the chair, either way works. So I want you to feel the whole length from your right foot to your right fingertips stretching out. Now lower the right hand, step your feet together. And now we'll do the other side. Left foot steps out about a foot. Left arm reaches up, reach over your head. Lower your left arm, step your feet together. Now we step back out with the right foot and bring your arms out to a T for star pose. And then I'll turn your palms down and hinge forward. Soften your knees as you come into a flat back. Look about three feet in front of you so the back of your neck has no wrinkles in it. Now, take your right hand to your left leg and left arm up. And now let's we'll switch sides. Left hand goes to right knee and right arm comes up. Now take both hands down and come into a fold. If the chair is there, you're welcome to hold onto it. If it's not there and if you feel comfortable, you can bend the knees and take your hands to the floor if you like. And breathe. This is an inversion. We're getting the head below the heart. If that's making you feel uneasy or Dizzy, please don't do this. Restrain from moving um, with your head too low. Now, when you come out of this pose, it's very important you go nice and slow as not to get a head rush. So we don't want a lot of blood or blood's running to the brain. We don't want to send it crazy into our body. So roll up nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back. Step your feet together. Inhale, arms reach up. Tall mountain pose. Bring your palms together and then your hands to your heart center. Now bend your knees and sit down into your imaginary chair. So inner thighs hug in. If that's bad, if that doesn't feel good in your low back, step them out just a little bit. So you don't want to be too far out, but just feeling the feet nice and grounded into the floor. Heads lifting, engage your belly. And we'll hold this for five, for four, for three, Two and one, straighten your legs, reach up and go, ah. <laughs> Exhale the hands down. Come back to your seat. Good job, guys. Y'all did fabulous. 
we finish out our practice turning, sitting um, our, ourselves to the right side of the room. So cross your ankle, left ankle on top of your right. We're gonna move into a twist. Left hand reaches out, right hand holds onto the back of the chair. You're gonna sweep the arm around and hold the right side of your chair and turn your belly button towards the back seat of your chair. Lift your head up and encourage your right, your left shoulder to come forward and breathe. So it's more challenging to breathe in these twists than you think. We'll hold this for just a few seconds. Nice and slow, we're gonna come back out of this and turn back to the center of a chair and press your spine into the back of the chair. Just reestablishing how it, um, you know, letting go of the twist. And now we'll take it to the left side. Press your right ankle on top of your left. Right hand goes across your body to hold on to the left side of the chair. Left hand comes to the back, uh, right, right side of the chair. Lift up your head and then encourage yourself to twist so the belly button goes towards the back of the chair. Ever so gently come back through center. Straighten out your legs in front of you. Lean to the back of the chair. Maybe you're, you're, you slide forward in your seat. And we're going to take a long stretch up overhead. Oh, big stretch up. Now bring your right knee into your right shoulder. Give that a good squeeze. Move around your right ankle. And then release the right leg, reach back up. Now squeeze your left knee in. Move around your left ankle. Now release your left leg. One more big giant reach above your head. Maybe interlace the fingers and push out through your palms. And take a big smile on your face. Smile big. And then exhale, release your arms, release your hands, and make your way into whatever shape you like to be for meditation. Give yourself a second to adjust. Once you get settled in, begin to reflect on how you treat your body. Do you demand too much of it? Or do you pay little regard to proper health practices? Just think about that for a moment. How do you treat your body? If we don't like what we discover in this reflection, a deeper commitment is needed. Honesty, peacefulness, moderation, maybe self-acceptance. So for the next few moments, I'd like you to repeat the mantra I accept where and how I am right now. And everything is temporary. But I choose to be content. 
I accept where and how I am right now. Everything is temporary and I choose to be content. If we want to feel joy, we must mindfully watch our thoughts and redirect them when they go towards the negative. Judgment is a great wall that divides us. Divides us from others and it divides us from ourselves. It causes pain and separation and prevents us from living peacefully. Contentment, on the other hand, heals and brings out joy. And now repeat this mantra. I accept my imperfections and I accept the imperfections of this life. I'm relaxed in this moment and nothing needs to be changed in order for me to relax more. Nice and slow, begin to feel your body, your physical body as a whole again and notice how it's resting and feeling supported. And then begin to move your neck, maybe rocking your head from one shoulder to the other shoulder. Making some circles, whatever feels good to you. And then move other body parts, stretch out your fingers, your toes, make some movement that you need to move, stretch. And then make your way back into 
a tall seated shape with your spine long, your shoulders relaxed and your heads up. We'll finish out our practice bringing our hands to our heart. May you embrace life's imperfections and may you find contentment and joy in everything you do. Thank you for sharing your practice with us this morning. Namaste. Thank you guys.